Hello and welcome to flashphones.net. Today we're going to learn how to flash your phone. Okay, today we have an HTC Evo, courtesy of Walter in New, New Jersey. We're going to flash this phone over to Boost Mobile. So if you're ready, let's go. Now I have my cable, my USB cable connected to my computer, and I've got the phone. And the first thing I'm going to do with this phone is I am going to take it back to stock. So in order to do that, we want to uh, put the phone into debug mode. Now, the way you put the phone into debug mode is to hit the menu button, hit settings, scroll up, go to applications, development, and then US debugging. On this phone it's already currently activated. I always check. Go back to the home screen and then plug the phone in. If you don't have the drivers installed already for the HTC Evo, you can go to HTC's website and download those drivers for your computer. Now once the uh, Evo is connected, which is indicated by the, uh, the little bell, you can go ahead and run the RUU. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And once you click on this thing, it just takes a minute to decompile in the computer, and then it will start to run. Go ahead and click Allow. It really doesn't matter which version of the RRU you run. There's several different stock RUUs that you can get. Any of them will do the trick. Basically, we just want the phone to be factory reset. So we go ahead, we understand the cautions. This could blow the phone up, no problem. We've completed the steps, turned on the phone, made sure it has a driver. Now here's the, always the fun part is that it has to have 30% battery power. Usually if you're flashing a phone for somebody else, the battery is dead when you get it. I don't know why. It's just the way it seems to work out. So now it's going to go through the uh, through the process here. The first thing it's going to do is it's going to reboot the Evo into the bootloader mode. And so it's going to boot you into a screen that looks just like this. And now on the screen here you can see that it's raising the user data, communicating with the phone. And in a moment you're going to see on the phone itself, you're going to see a progress indicator bar come up. Okay, so there's the progress indicator bar on the screen of your computer and also on the screen of the telephone. So we'll just let that complete. Okay, so now we have the congratulations, your ROM update has been completed and the HTC Evo, the HTC Evo is now rebooting back up to the home screen. Now it will take a little longer than normal for the phone to boot up because it's got to rewrite all the cache and expand all the system files as it's booting up. So it'll take a little bit longer. Just let it run and do its thing. Okay, so now we've booted into the home screen here and we're going to start this thing up. It's going to ask us a few questions. We're just going to have to go through the setup process real quick. Not a big deal. If you've been playing with these phones for any length of time. You've probably done this more times than you can count. You just basically skip and next all the way through this. Now that we're booted in the home screen, we want to reset the NV item. So to do that, we'll hit the phone, hit pound pound, seven, eight, six, pound again. That's going to take us into our uh, logistics support screen. You're going to go ahead and hit menu and then reset. It's going to ask you now for the MLS or the SPC. Some of you may be familiar with it and it's under that term. One for this particular phone. I'm entering now. It will change for your phone. You can read it many different ways. Just hit OK and now it's going to go ahead. It's going to reset the and rewrite the NV items back to Sprint Stock, which is exactly what we want. This takes a few minutes. It's going to, it's going to uh, shut the phone off, and then it's going to boot it up, and it's going to rewrite 
those NV files and then boot the phone back up. Now I want you to watch here as the phone powers off and then back on because this is a critical step that you need to look for. Now when the phone boots on it's going to take you to a screen that you're probably not all that familiar with and it's the rewriting screen. Now if you don't see the screen for some reason you need to go and rerun the RUU again to get rid of any custom recoveries that you may have because that will circumvent this rewrite screen. Now it'll shut the phone off and boot it back up to the home screen. So now we've booted back up and it's going through the uh, system setup screens just like it did after we wrote the RUU. Now it's trying to contact for the hands-free activation. It's imperative that you cancel that right away. We don't want it to activate yet because we don't have the proper pass keys written to the telephone. So we're going to go ahead and skip, next, skip, finish. And now it'll boot up to the home screen. When it gets to the home screen, we want to put it in a diag mode. And again, to get it in a diag mode, it's just another uh, key logger here. So we go to the uh, dialer, pound, pound, 3424, four, and hit pound, and that will take us to the diagnostic screen. Mm -hmm. Now we also need to have debugging on. Since we've reset this phone a couple of times, we're going to go ahead and check that. And we'll go to applications again, development. And you'll see it's off now, so let's turn that on. And now we're connected. Mm -hmm. Now we'll go to the computer. Go ahead and open up CDMA Workshop. If you don't have CDMA Workshop, you can do this with several other programmers. But you'll have to research how to do that with your particular programmer. Alright, so now we're open. We want to hit ports, and we want to find the port that the Evo's been assigned to. If you don't see your Evo there, you'll want to uh, install the drivers. Go to security, go to HTC method, and we'll read that SPC. And we'll send it. So now the phone is unlocked. Okay, so here's our test account here that we're going to use. So I'm going to write the SPC to correspond with that account. and I'm going to write that SPC now. So now that's been written to the phone. Now the MEID of this phone has already been added to Boost Database. We did that before we started the tutorial. So we'll go ahead and write the NV files, which basically all this does is write the passcodes that we need to access the 3G Internet. So we'll go ahead and write that. We'll go ahead and write that. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to write your PRL. Now a lot of people elect to just use the stock sprint PRL and that works for the most part. But not always. So we have our own PRL. We'll write that. And then we'll go ahead and reset the phone using mode reset. And the reset is initiated. Now, typically on the Evos, they will not reboot automatically on this particular RUU baseband. So you'll just want to go and shut, that, shut it down manually. Just hold the power button, power it off. And as soon as it powers off, we want to power it back on. And this time, when the hands-free tries to activate, we're just going to let it go ahead and activate. So here we are, we're booted back up now, and the phone's loading up, and now we'll see the hands-free activation pop up, and we're just going to let that run. Sometimes it takes a couple of minutes, and now our phone has been activated. So we want to go ahead and tap OK to continue. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to check for a PRL update and download the new PRL update. We always want to let that go through. 
Okay, so now that's been updated. We want to hit OK. It's going to check for firmware. Because this isn't a boost phone, it's not going to find any firmware, so just hit Cancel. And then the best thing to do here is to go ahead and power the phone back off and let it reboot. I want to stress again that before I started the tutorial, in the interest of time, I had already added the MEID to Boost Database and set this uh, phone up onto a Boost account and made my payment on that Boost account. So you want to do that. You can activate to the Boost account before making a payment. I elected to make the payment because the customer is coming to pick this phone up pretty quick. All right, so now we're booted back up to the home screen. We can see the 3G icon at the top of the phone. And we can see that it's uh, been programmed in. So go ahead and uh, let's go to the Internet. Check that the Internet is working. Go to some bookmarks here. Let's go to uh, CNN. And there's our Boost Internet, nice and fast. ESPN. So that's it. HTC Evo on Boost, no big deal. If you have any trouble, go ahead and hit me up. If you ruin your phone, give me a call, send me your phone, I'll fix it for you. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully you were able to flash your phone over. Now there's a couple of things to keep in mind. One, to expedite this process, because we only have a 15 minute time limit on YouTube, we had previously added the MEID of our phone into the carrier's database. Also, we'd already generated the passcodes we needed for the login servers, and those were in the folder on our desktop. So you're going to have to do that work on your own before you start the flashing tutorial with your phone. Other than that, you should be good to go. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the appropriate section, and come visit us at flashphones.net. Thank you very much, and until next time, keep flashing.